Feeding your newborn at home. It is very important to keep track of your baby's feedings. Breastfed newborns should eat every two to three hours, but may eat more frequently if cueing. Feed early when alert and cueing. Wake up your newborn if they are not up by three to three and a half hours. Do not allow your newborn to go longer than three and a half hours until you talk with the pediatrician. How much do you feed your baby at home? If breastfeeding, feed every two to three hours. Burp when your infant slows down during the feeding. Remove their blanket or sleep sack if the infant is sleepy with the feeding. Your baby is cueing if they are awake and alert around feeding time, sucking on their fingers, smacking their lips, rooting or turning their head and opening their mouth for a nipple, or fussing or crying. Here are some tips for successful breastfeeding at home. Discuss your plans for breastfeeding within team prior to your infant feeding. Get help from our lactation nurses. Attempt breastfeeding at least once a day prior to discharge. Watch for breast changes and softening with breastfeeding and seek support after discharge. Our lactation team can help you establish an effective latch at the breast. Some moms may need a shield. This is an effective tool, especially for preemies who have had many bottles prior to attempting breastfeeding. Your nipple looks very different than the nipple on the bottle. The shield will give your baby a firm nipple to latch onto and allow for effective breastfeeding. Your baby is getting enough to eat at the breast if you are able to hear or see swallowing, your breast is softening after feeding, your baby continues to have wet and poopy diapers, and your baby is gaining weight. Here are some tips for making more milk. Breastfeed and or pump at least eight times per day. Try power pumping. Pump 10 minutes, rest 10 minutes, pump 10 minutes. Do this for one hour. Drink plenty of water, 128 ounces or 16 cups a day. Eat high fiber foods like oats, beans, and leafy greens. Try to relax with music or video apps to decrease your stress and pump near your baby. You will need to clean your pump kit. In the hospital, you need to clean it after each use and take all pieces apart. Wash in hot soapy water with a brush. Always wash your valves by hand. At home, hand wash or use the top rack of the dishwasher. You can also sterilize your pump parts by boiling them on the stove for a few minutes. Always allow your parts to air dry. Do not wash your tubing. Tubing will get some condensation. Shake your tubing and allow it to air dry. If it gets black specks, this could be mold. Throw it out. We are here for you. Here are the important numbers you will need for Fairview Hospital. Hillcrest Hospital. Main Campus